Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of That Guy Chris. We're back at with the, the Sinking City. Now, where are we at here? We have some more cases we can research. The lock shop and the suspicious restaurant. I believe the lock shop has the really big monster. I probably want to hold off on that for a little bit. I do want to do the suspicious restaurant. And Eastern Reed Heights on Willow Lane. Uh, place on map? Yeah. That puts a show me where it's at. Oh, Reed Heights. Oh my god, that's all the way up there. I feel like I can't go up there yet because that's. Well, nah, I could. I probably could go up there, but. Hmm. I think we'll progress the main story before going all the way up that far north. Just have a feeling that the further up north I go, the more dangerous the place gets. This place is already fucking dangerous. What's that? What is that place? I don't know. Not telling me. Eh. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go back to our main case here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is uh, wounded in the shoulder. Captain Sanders, the wounded man, is now seeking medical aid. We have to check the archives in the uh, medical place. Which is our favorite thing to do right now. Searching archives. Exhilarating. Alright. Let's get on and through here. Oh, Archives go. Any minute, there you go. Uh huh, uh huh. Uh. Here we go. Wounded Sanders. He's a patient. Uh. uh maybe surgery? From Haven Bay. Okay, wow, that was I got extremely lucky on that one. Peter Crowley, male, overall to burns, fragment wounds, chest. Wait, that's not our guy. Oh boy. Okay, well, one more time. Nope. Oh, okay. Um, therapy maybe. Nope. Asylum. Morgue. Well, he didn't die, so that's good. Uh, after the flood. Let's do after the flood. Nope. Hmm. Uh. You know, normally if you're doing something like this, you'd just be able to look up the guy's fucking name, but this this place wants to make it very uh more difficult. That's for sure. Therapy, maybe. No, I don't think it would be therapy. Uh, let's see here. Cornus, he's not dead. Yeah, maybe he's personnel? No. Suppliers? No. Nothing found. Uh, well, let me look and see what I found. Had uh, about evidence updated about the wounded. Nope. Let's see here. Um, multiple burns. Level of surgeries. Deep cut to left shoulder. Joseph Willow, deep cut to the left shoulder. Doesn't our guy have a wound to the left shoulder? I don't know. Thinking that he changed his name, that seems that seems kind of far fetched, but Be safe. We don't have any free beds left. <laughs> 
to you, mister. Pete, explosion, fishing with dynamite, oh, hurts talking. You probably should lay down. Fishing with dynamite, huh? You sure it wasn't from a fight in port? Maybe on a ship? I'm sure. Oh, please, leave. Bye. Bye. Okay, so I can interrogate these men to see if any of them remember the fight, or if any of them is actually just Sanders pretending, maybe? Oh, my stomach. I ain't never eaten leeches ever again. Why would you Sorry. eat leeches? Dear God. Oh. Oh. Oh, I mean, I'm gonna take all this. Can't talk to that guy. Why does that have a marking on it? One more floor up. Who we got here? Yeesh. What happened to your shoulder? Uh, some psycho in a bar brawl. Uh huh. Gun came out. He clipped me good in the shoulder. Something I can help you with? I'm just looking for someone. Uh, Captain Sanders. Captain Sanders? Never heard of him. I'm Joseph Willow. You, you should probably look somewhere else. That's funny. The records say you were admitted for an axe wound, just like a Wow, I did Sanders call him out. Damn, massacre. okay. Cool. Spill. Oh, to the depths with it. That's pretty clever, though, to change Who your name. You? I'm asking the questions here, pal. Yeah, well, first tell me who you are. Charles Reed, Private Eye. Throgmorton wants to know what happened to his lost expedition. So Throgmorton came looking at last. I knew someone like you would find me sooner or later. I think it'd be an understatement to say your expedition met with disaster. Yeah, no shit. And there are things that should never be found, Mr. Reed. I only wish I'd known that then. They'd still be alive. The scientists, my crew, none of them deserved what happened to them. Let's see here. Did you know Albert Throgmorton made it to shore? Albert survived? Is he here? No. He didn't make it. He's dead as the rest. Murdered in the port. But what about the others? Uh, I don't know, uh... We, um, uh, my crew left them down there, underwater. I ordered a rescue attempt, but they threatened mutiny. Damn, you guys just abandoned them? You've got a good reason for leaving the expedition to die, right? You, uh, you weren't there. Day after day on that ship, it was a horror, Mr. Reed. We saw things. Not one of us dared <laughs> sleep. It was an expedition into cursed waters. Mark my words. From what I've seen, I believe that. Tell me what happened on the last dive. We had a system. The divers go down, then come up at a prearranged time. But not one surfaced that day. In the end, I sent a team to check. They returned with Albert. But all were half mad with fear. I was on the Titania before I came here. It seems you were all hitting the bottle pretty hard. Why? To stop them from rioting. To save them from despair. After those dives, Trying to raise morale. Turn to drink. So, the diving did a number on your crew. But what happened in the port? I don't know. They were calm until we docked, and then... Then they lost it. And many good men lost their lives. Yeah, a lot of them did. What were you looking for underwater? Uh, the cause of all this. The stones, the flood, the monsters. The scientists found cracks on the seabed. They were working on some theory of how it connected to the madness. 
The ocean floor splits open, and that means hysteria on land. Really. We spent days over the cracks. We heard things. Saw things looking back at us. Could you take me out to where the last dive took place? I don't think he's going back out there. No. You can't follow them, Mr. Reed. It's suicide. Worse than suicide. I'm a Navy diver, Captain. And with all due respect, I'm not afraid of boogeymen. I don't care. I'm not taking you there. And besides, you'll never follow them without proper equipment. You know where I can get a good diving suit. Uh, I don't well, want to go there down there. From a local factory. If you're that bullheaded, I'll write down the address. Where's the logbook from the Titania? Well, I had it with me, but I was all out of it by the time I got here. I remember the surgery ward. When I came round, my things were gone. Oh, of course. Get better soon. Shooting victim Joe, wounded patient Pete. Okay, diving suit factory. Scratch me, please, please, <laughs> just here. This itching is driving me insane. Oh yeah, I remember that one. The the itching skin that to the point where you itch so bad you literally start breaking skin, and then you start scratching bone. Oh, that's terrifying. Hey doc. Okay, nothing to say. Well, fine. I don't want to talk to you either. All right, that's interesting. I didn't think about that when I when I cleared that <clears throat> with the evidence. I was like, damn, I found my evidence, but none of these guys are Captain Sanders. I didn't think about it for a moment that he actually would change his name, which is pretty fucking clever, actually. So kudos to him. Be safe. We don't have any free beds left. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Next objective, checking out the factory. What the hell is this? Yeah, oh, the asylum. Okay, yeah, we're not going there just yet. All right. Sanders sent men to purchase diving suits from a factory, which is located in Western Grimhaven Bay. Uh, okay. Uh, Sanders informed me that the expedition anchored several points in the ocean, diving to inspect the seabed. Maybe in the ship's log, Sanders brought it with him to the hospital. The last place he remembers is a surgery ward. All right. I probably should check out the surgery ward so I can get those points so I know where to go where I'm diving. I don't even want to go out there, but fuck it. I'll be here already, so... All right, let's see here. I bet you the inn's mouth or the fish people probably has something to do with that damn log showing up missing, I bet. I bet. Here we go. Doing a playing of noise, no sleep, fish behaving strangely. Reach the crew point, uh, crew reporting hallucinations. Disrupted rum, hopefully it'll distract them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The crew dragged Albert to a lifeboat, tried to stop them, resulted in mutiny. Okay, so they actually, they fucking pushed him off the boat. All right, can I do a mind place thing now? Mind place, yeah. All right. The Titanian crew went mad and started a massacre on the port as a result. Nope, those two don't go together. Interesting, okay. Yeah, it's important to get the evidence together, because not only does it help you progress the story, but it also gives you more dialogue options, it seems, too, to help push the story forward. That is awesome. Let's check out this factory. Which is in Dark Martin Manor. We'll go there after we're done here. This is in Greenhaven Bay. Blackwood Manor. Uh, no, down. What's that? That's just the. Oh, down to it. Thank you. That's the port. That's the diving points, right? Devil's Teeth. Okay. A casebook. Uh, we need to go to on C. Smith Avenue between. Oh yeah, that's important. I need to start doing that. You can mark it so it shows up down there. Um, 
do Smith Avenue, Levy Coffin, and Deep Shore Road. Where, where, oh, where, oh, where, oh, where? Yeah, Alright, there's C. Smith Ave. Um, between Levy Coffin and Deep Shore. So, right here? That's what it feels like? Alright, we'll go check that out in a minute. Let me get to that phone booth so we can warp down there. Again, I wouldn't mind traveling there on foot, but I feel like there's nothing really going on in the city besides just seeing how much it sucked and finding new infestation areas, so... Unless you're traveling to a new place on foot. Like, if I went to the, uh, the course read, I would have to do all that on foot all the way over there. Which we don't need to do that unless we don't absolutely have to, so I won't bore you guys with that. Maybe we'll do some other time traveling. Not time traveling, but adjusting. So we're going to go here, and this is the area we need to go to, basically. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. If you die, your last save will be loaded. Your character will appear in the closest save zone. <clears throat> so, it doesn't say anything about auto saves. Again, I haven't died yet. I came really close, actually. So I'm surprised I haven't, came, uh, I haven't died yet. I wonder if my insanity goes down all the way, I will pretty much cut it. The ugliest monsters have vulnerable spots. Okay. Alright. We need to go down here. Alright, so we're on Deep Shore Road. We're going on Deep Shore until we hit Skipper. Then take hang a right. Are you someone to talk to? No? You. you are. You're the man who handled the problems in the port. Seemed like a sharp sleuth. Want to make something on the side? Always do. You pay, I work. What's the job? Ah, a fellow businessman. I'm Vincent, but you can call me Vince. First task is to find the ship's log for the pride. Charles Reed. A few questions, if I may. Sure, sure. Why are you looking for a ship log? Maybe I'll tell you when the job is done. Right now, you don't need to know. In my line of work, you don't get far without appreciating the need for privacy. I understand. What can you tell me about the pride? I'm gonna need somewhere to start. Mostly rumors. The captain was an exemplary patriot. Always had a flag with him. His last shipment may have been chemicals and metal barrels. It could be resting on the seabed a thousand miles away. What makes you think it can be found? I wouldn't waste my money on you unless I had hope. Local drunkards say they saw the barge on the sunken road near the fish market. Good. I'll check the place and bring you the Pride's ship log if it's still there. Huh. See you later. I have a feeling that uh, a ship or fish market, there's probably bound to be more than one. I know there's one... In that area I checked in the last episode, there was a really big fish market. I don't know if the same one he's talking about. I wasn't exactly too clear on that, but we're not going to start diving into a side quest just now. I do want to finish the side quest here because they seem interesting enough, and I like hearing the lore and, then, and what's going on with this place, but I'm going to definitely keep pushing some more storyline stuff too. I'll do some of the simpler side quests, like the, you know, go here, do this kind of stuff, but I don't want to waste a bunch of time running around looking for ghosts chase my own tail, you know what I mean? Fucking chicken Cthulhu monster things. Alright. Deep shore. Perlin, we're not that far down yet. I'm starting to get better at exploring these places a little bit by now, so that's good. Infested area. Shit. Alright, that's... this problematic? No, it's not problematic. At least not yet. Actually, that might be where I need to be. It says between deep shore... So it is an infested zone. What the hell? Uh, on C. Smith Ave. I have a place on the map. No, I mean to... Uh, Western Grimhaven Bay. Between Levy... And deep shore. It sounds like it's in the infested zone. I'm gonna try it further down here. Maybe I'll get lucky. It's on this side, closer to Octopus Ave, but. Uh, 
And that would make sense for it to make you dive into an infested zone, so that would be fantastic. Oh, quick work over here, too. Cool, let's discover this real quick while we're here. A lot of these things are nicely spaced out, at least, so that's good. All right. It looks like this whole entire area is bagged off. Yep. All right. Against my better judgment, I'm going to have to... I usually, when I go into a festival, I just run right past the place, you know? I don't I don't stick around here for too very long, but... Don't have that luxury this time, that's for damn sure. I think I see a factory there. How can a factory... I'm gonna keep looking around first, though, before. Maybe it's somewhere else, I don't know. I would hate to go into that festival zone and then find out that I never even actually had to be in that damn place. Because that would suck. I don't even have a name for this damn place. All I know it's a factory. I did see it looks like a factory in there, though. Gar granted, guaranteed, something. That's a motor place. That's not a factory at all. This is not even the right way, really. Yeah, this is not off Deep Shore Road. Ha, ha, ha. On Smith Ave. So. Where the hell was. Okay, Smith Ave is right here. Where do you see. There's Levi. Okay, so maybe it's over here then. Okay. Yeah, because I was about to dive in that area. It's actually on Smith Ave, so it's on that street here, back over here. It's probably on the water then. So it's actually over here. Yeah, I was about to dive in that infected area for no damn good reason. I knew I was going to do that. Gotta be careful. It's going to make me go into an infested area, though, sooner or later. I know that for sure. I'm, I'm almost guaranteed that's going to happen eventually. Just, I think it would let me know if I had to go into an infested area beforehand, though. Boop, 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 boop. Singing in the rain. Dancing in the rain. I think I can get through here. I don't know. I can get to the boat, then I'll be on Sea Smith. Fucking Cthulhu chicken. Drift. Deja vu. Alright, just looking for a place to park my boat. That's a good place to park my boat. Is this where I need to be, though? I don't know. This is where I'm at. Looks like a dive shop. Yep, diving suit factory. The fuck is that noise? Ooh, fuck. Scared the shit out of me. I see another one. Well, like you guys came to that same exact spot to do the same exact thing, so that's convenient for me. All right, what do you got for me? This will let me know there's an item over there. Just, uh, I can loot. Highlighting my looting areas here. Gunpowder. Gel casings, gunpowder. All the good stuff. Can't go in the water. This wouldn't even hold air for a minute. Well, duh, it's got some holes in it and shit. I mean, you have to repair it or something, but this is literally the majority of the suit, so what do you gotta do, right? Let's see here. What else we got? Nothing on this floor, so we can go up one more. That sounds good. Thirty-eight pistol round. Can't carry more shell keys. You guys are seriously killing me with this shit, man. Like, how am I supposed to just obtain a, a good amount of anything if I keep getting more shell casings and gunpowder? Like, it's fucking ridiculous. 
Oh my god. Oh, that's full? Okay. I'm not trusting my life to a rusty suit. I think they're all gonna be rusty, Mr. Reed. I don't think you're gonna find a decent suit anywhere. At least not in this place. Unless this one magical suit over here seems to be better than the other one somehow. Ah, yes, it is. Lucky us. 38 pistol round. Shell casings. I just fucking absorbed it. Okay. Well, fuck. Alright. I just put it in my mouth. Here we go. Um... One minor detail, though. We need a ship, right? I know where to go, but I have no fucking idea how to get there. Uh, I have to coordinate. I should be able to get there by boat. I don't... Am I taking my own boat? Use the Navy old, but in good state, I should be able to go down 100 meters in it. Okay. Bounty by sea. Alright. Uh, maybe I'll just take a regular-ass fucking boat there, because that seems real like a bad idea. I've ever heard one. Alright, now I just need to get to the Devil's Port. Oh yeah, there's a boat there. Right there. Right there, that's great, that's great. It's gonna be like that, huh? It's gonna make you take a little shitty rowboat skeef out there, huh? Well, fuck me. You guys want to see me fucking die? This is how it goes. I'm not going out there with a diving survey crew. I'm going to go out there in a little shitty boat. Like this. And just get stuck in a wall like this. Fucking great. Just do what I tell you to do and go back. Not like that. Oh my god. I don't have my boat license. I can't even drive a skiff on this fucking piece of shit. How am I supposed to drive it out in the ocean? I think I need to go to the right. Actually, it doesn't matter really. Right or left. Go left. Ooh. Sorry. I've not gotten that reaction before, and I've waved my gun around here since I fucking got to this shithole. So, oh my god. That guy was so scared he literally teleported out of here. Well, then. I feel like a dick. I just scared the shit out of all these good, fine people here. Can I unequip that for now? Yeah, there you go. I'll just keep the camera out. We don't like how the picture's taken anyways, regardless, so. Oh, man. Something about me going out here by myself just screams bad idea. But Mr. Reed is all about bad ideas, baby. Alright, I believe it was near Pier 3, my other docking point area. Surprisingly enough. Yep. Lucky number 3. I'm gonna go on record and officially say, guys, this is a bad idea. So when it goes to shit, and it will go to shit... Oh, I know where this boat is. You guys can uh, hear me say, Chris, that I told you so. Chris knew. Chris knew this is a bad idea. Oh yeah, dead bodies. This freaks out everybody, huh? Oh boy. What the hell? Where am I at? Am I at the Devil's Teeth already? Well, that's convenient. Okay, cool. Again. Still, this is a bad idea. Okay, so, like, what happens if I go down and there's no one here to bring me back up? I know you're a Navy diver and everything, Mr. Reed, but... Oh, you know what? Whatever. Fuck it. Fuck it. Down we go. I don't know what he's hoping to find out by going down here.
Did I mention this is a bad idea? This is a bad fucking idea. Oh good, a harpoon gun. Let's see. The harpoon stuns hostile creatures for a short time, flares light your way, and can distract hostile creatures if damaged. Hold to slowly recover diamond suit pressure. The chemical lamps are nearly spent, but I reckon I can still follow them. What's this other one down here? Oh, is that the flare? Okay, that's interesting. This is cool. I'm supposed to have like a lifeline thing, but I don't, so that's fine. I mean, I get it. This is fucking still pretty neat, though. This stone isn't natural. Could it be a statue? Oh yeah, it does look pretty creepy. This stone isn't natural. Could it be a statue? Could it be a statue? Okay, I thought that giant anchor was something for a minute. I was gonna freak the fuck out. What the fuck is that? Holy shit! Well, so much for me not freaking the fuck out, right? Holy crap. down we go 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 oh my god mr reed you're braver than most fucking people i know you are also very crazy okay Okay, that hurts me. I thought that would help me, but it doesn't. It hurts me. So, E's healing me, and Blue's the insanity meter. Okay. Just keep cranking myself up. I'm gonna crank myself up, baby. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, cool. You can see the little pistons moving in the background, too. On the back of my suit. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. This is great. I think it's time for the harpoon now. Oh, shit! It's distracted. Go! 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 Ooh. What the fuck was that? Some kind of weird fucking tendril thing and not the sexy kind either. Like the, oh shit. It, it's the leg to some kind of other creature probably. Some kind of giant fucking leash. Oh, okay. Well. Cool. And here we are. The scientists didn't even take their tools with them. Oh, okay. There's a guy there. I said save. Thank you. You guys see that? There's a guy who's dancing. He's dancing. He's having a good time. Let's go kill him. Gods lean over us. Gods crawl in us. Gods who have marked me as their aphid. Gods lean over us. All right, I got another mind place clue. Mad, uh, Madness eliminates from the scientists. Oh. Gods crawl in us. Gods who have marked me as their agent. So the scientists are still alive. They're just fucking crazy. Those suits are all cut up. Ah, uh, someone sabotaged the suits. So they can't leave. That's terrifying too. This guy's just dead. Oh, you want to take a picture of that? Whatever. Bastard. 
A ritual knife and a cult sign. I think I better show Mr. Throgmorton. A ritual knife and a cult sign. Okay, that's what I, I took the I picture show for. Mr. Throgmorton. All right, that's good. Hark, he comes. The sacred, full-bellied bearer of splendor. Take me, make me. I beg you. Bearer of what? Who are you talking to? What happened? Uh, our, our, our eyes. First, second, third. Opened by the aura. You see much, yet. Do not see the splendid shell of the white virgin here sleeping. Cut the horse crap. Give me a straight answer. You're not gonna get a straight answer out of fucking Loony bin over there. <laughs> but, but it is meaning that is meaningless. Open yourself. Walk. Listen. Pray. Wake. You holy worm. Take his skin and skull for your home. Is he talking to whatever's Take possessing me? I worship and grant your kindness. I pray you. Sancta Mare, be our eyes. Eyes to see the distant stars. Artifact. Was it the focus of their worship? Oh boy. <laughs> How far back does this go? We enter the temple the moment they right, take the key back. seal. Get ready to cut up their diving suits. Okay, that was the end's mouth there. Okay, so they were stalking them. Forget them! Get the seed and the seal now! Oh, they took the doctor, okay. Okay, what? It's shivering. This, uh, no! Uh, get away from me! I think I'm starting to get the picture. So that happened, and then the okay. inn's mouther showed up. Shivering. This uh, no. Uh, get away from me. Forget them. Get the seed and the seal now. We enter the temple the moment they take the key seal. Get ready to cut up their diving suits. Okay, so this is actually gonna be number two. Oh, I'll do them in order. Okay. Okay. What? So. First, they were stalking them. This. Uh, we enter the temple the moment they take the key seal. Get ready to cut. Okay. What? It's ship. Forget them. Get the seed and the seal now. The expedition found an artifact that drove them mad. And then the Innsmouthers stole it and the professor in one go. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Let's see here. Let's see here. Save the survivors. I can't leave the survivors to die here. Even if their madness may influence others, this was not their fault. I have to abandon the survivors. Their infectious madness is too dangerous to bring to the service. They knew the risks. Ooh. I was going to say save the survivors, but damn, he's got a good point. We know for a fact that their madness is in, it, can, it spreads. It's infectious. If we bring them up... Oh, man. Oh, my God. Because it happened to Albert. 
just Albert showed up and he lived in a house with a bunch of people and they went crazy and they started killing each other. <sighs> this was not their fault, but they did know the rest. I have to leave them behind. I can't. Oh my god. Well, I'm coming back to that one. Oh my god. I mean, if you bring them back, the doctor would love to examine them. But, ooh. Cthulhu Mythogon. What a wonderful phrase. Don't take a picture of that or that. Don't even take a picture. I know I'll have to take a picture of this thing, but I, I can't put my camera on here. What are you trying to get me to do? Obviously, I know you want me to take a picture of that giant thing here, but it won't let me put my camera up on here. So that's why I'm going to back up for farther enough. Do this. Like that. There it is. I'm going to have to abandon them, guys. I can't. The outbreak of menace on Titania was caused by Albert's presence. The crew ex expelled him and the life would to stop it. Abandon the survivors. Okay, it'll, it'll default to save. I'm gonna do abandon. Albert was the source of this madness. That is crazy. That's cool though, seeing all the facts come together like that though. All right, and his mother attacked. Ooh, okay. Back to my mind place. The inner monsters plot. The inner monsters know the truth about this madness. They need the artifact and Harriet, the one who took it. Leave the scientists to die. It's too dangerous to save the survivors. The inner monsters or Harriet must have the answers about this madness. Okay, I wonder if that came from... Uh, would that change if I decide... Oh, it comes to a different conclusion. Save the survivors. I have to save the expedition. I must tell Robert where the survivors are and start searching for Harriet. No, I'm going to abandon them. Leave the scientists to die. It's too dangerous to the survivors. The animal throws are Harriet must have answers about this madness. Yeah, I can't. We know that their madness is infectious. And if we bring them on shore, they're going to just end up killing a bunch more people. Okay. Um. Also, I noticed in the end of the last episode, I forgot to show it, but there's a beastery here. For these monsters. And I believe I was doing that because I did the side quest for the doctor. So that's really interesting. I love that. I love that there's a beastery. But yeah, we're not we're not bringing them back, guys. There's no way. And I got that conclusion by taking the picture. So all evidence has been gathered. We can get the fuck out of here. We gotta find the Innsmouthers now. Which we could have went with that a while ago. But we're not, we're not bringing these people back. That is not happening. I mean, maybe I'll play this through again. I don't probably won't record it. I'll play just for fun and shits and giggles and probably saving them to see what it changes. But we know just bringing back Albert himself made that crew go crazy and kill each other. We know. We've seen it. Can you imagine with like four or five crazy people? We've seen the effects of just one person being on, on shore, let alone four people. Oh, that's awesome. Just fucking see you later, losers. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, man. I hope you guys can forgive me for leaving those guys behind, but it was the right thing to do, unfortunately. Not really, but that's what we're stuck with, so that's what we're going to do. Save. I like saving a lot. Go back to shore. Oh, shit. Hey, that's not my outfit. Damn it. Terror?
two stones. Of course, how could I have not known? Oh, fuck that. Pull it out. Pull it out. Oh, it's inside of you. Oh, man. You've been blessed with the vision. Really? Was I dragged back to my room again? Okay, all right. Discovered the origins of mass hysteria gripping Oak Mount. All right, guys, we're definitely getting into high gear now with this game, so we decided to leave the survivors behind because, unfortunately, fuck them. Their hysteria is contagious, and it's very dangerous. When we bring them back on shore, Oak Mount's already fucked, and bringing them back would make it even more fucked. So, made an executive decision. I hope it was the right one. To me, it makes the most amount of sense. Again, I'll probably most likely play this again on my downtime, and I will just try to see what a different option for that is going to be. We're at a good point now. We're going to just end it here. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the video. Rotate. This. No matter how much of this I chug down, the visions uh, always return. Opium. Shit. All right, diary part two. Oh, that's when he came back from the when he went to the asylum. Yep. Can I take this stuff with me? I probably need to take more of it. Never again, they say. Oh, that's from uh, before, from the last time I was here. Okay, guys, yep, we're gonna end it right here. I like exploring all this stuff. Crew of the Cyclops. Semper Fortis, brothers. Alright, guys, hope you guys are enjoying the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video with a friend, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Stay tuned, stay beautiful, guys. Until next time, Trump a letter. For example, a man who has treated one of uh, my kind humanly, I feel overpaid a debt to you to take this friendly piece of advice, run, save your life, and leave this drudge city in depths. Don't dig into the secret for it, not worth it. There's nothing good left here, I believe, blah, 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 blah. Lewis. Oh, I, I saved him, so that's nice. I hope not all my good deeds are gonna come back and, you know, ugh. Well, you're welcome, Lewis. You're welcome. Thanks for leaving me a note and not any damn shell casings. I need bullets, Lewis. I need fucking bullets. All right, guys. See you in the next episode. Stay tuned. Stay beautiful, guys. Until then, goodbye.